everyone, I'm Ashley and today I've decided to do a vlog because I'm off to Lincoln to meet Charlotte who blogs over at Bookmarks and Blogging or Bookmarks and Vlogging if you want her booktube channel. Oscar, shut up! <laughs> I'm trying to film a video here. <sighs> but yes, yeah, so I'm going to Lincoln to meet Charlotte and we're basically planning on doing a bookshop tour so I thought that would be fun to film. I'm just about to leave the house so I do need to grab my backpack and everything but yeah, I just thought I would bring you along with me today. bookshop of Lincoln and it's probably my favourite so far, it's incredible, I love it. <laughs> I thought it was a second hand bookshop and it does have second hand books upstairs but there's also new ones downstairs and I'm getting a couple of books which I will show you in a bit because I'm really excited about them but yeah, Charlotte will confirm how excited I was when I found the one that's behind this orange one. She was very excited. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just love this place, it's called Linden Books if you are coming by Lincoln anytime. You have you... to walk up Steep Hill but it's worth it. Yeah, you have to tackle Steep Hill. The name says everything but 100% worth it. <laughs> Thank you. 
I just got home and... Thanks, Oz. <laughs> so I just got home and it's about 8pm. I'm hungry. Oh. Oscar is now loving me very intensely. <laughs> but yes, I am really quite tired and hungry. I am starving. But today has been amazing. I have had such a good day. So I thought I'd just give you a run through because I don't know how much will be shown. I can't remember what clips I've taken. So we went to two different waterstones on High Street in Lincoln and then we went to one which is called Jew's Court I think. I could be wrong. Something about a Jew. <laughs> but that bookshop was really quite small. It was literally just one room. Although we did spend quite a while in there because I was looking at all the ancient history stuff which they had a surprising amount of. Then we stopped at the Bookstop Cafe and that was incredible. It's such a good cafe. It's literally like a combination of a cafe and a library and a bookshop. And we had our dinner surrounded by books. There was fairy lights. It was so cosy and we spent well over an hour there. Basically just having a rest because all of this was on Steep Hill and that's not a misleading name at all. It's a steep hill. <laughs> And then we went to Linden Books, which I would 100% go back to Lincoln for just to visit that shop again. I don't know if I said this while I was there, but I thought it was going to be a second-hand bookstore. But when we walked in, the bottom floor was for new books, and then the top floor was second-hand books. So it was a nice mix of both, and I got so excited because I found that they sold Persephone books. The Persephone Books Publishing Company has a bookstore in London, which I really want to visit. And the books that they publish basically just all look the same, but it's such a nice, sleek design. My camera cut out for a moment there, but yes, Persephone books only publish women authors, and it's just something I've been interested in for a while. So I walked in, and I saw a shelf and a half of them, and I just... Oh my god, the excitement was real. I even got Charlotte to confirm. I know I did that. <laughs> So I picked up a couple of books while I was there, and of course one of them was one of the Persephone books. This is what I mean by they look really sleek and just... oh, They're just so simple. And the inside pages, I don't know how I'm going to show this. The inside pages all have a different design. And it comes with a matching bookmark. It's incredible. This one came with two, I'm not quite sure why. But the one I picked up is the Persephone book of short stories because I spent ages looking at all the books and because I'd not heard of any of them before I couldn't decide which one to get. So I ended up picking up the book of short stories because it has lots of different authors in there and I can just try lots of different authors out and then when I go back at some point, because I am going back at some point, if there's any new authors that I've read a short story of in this book I can then see if they have that in stock and yeah, just discover new authors. And then the second book that I picked up was second hand and this was purely a sort of novelty buy almost. I basically I have no intention of reading this book, I just wanted it because of what it is. But it's one of the original design Penguin classics. It's called Defy the Foul Friend. No, it's not called that. It's called Defy the Foul Fiend by John Collier. Don't really know anything about it. But yeah, I've seen people collecting these um, really old Penguin classics and I just want one to have on my shelves and like, because I collect the Penguin cloth bounds and the Penguin classics which have the black band on them and the Penguin English Library ones, having one of the original sort of designs and like you can tell it's second hand and really old, I don't know, I just, I really love it and it's second hand so it didn't cost a lot. After that we went to... A park. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> it has a really fancy name. But yeah, it's just generally been a lovely day and it was so lovely seeing Charlotte. We always have so much to talk about and... Ugh. Oh, we went inside the cathedral as well and that is absolutely stunning. I do intend to go back at some point because I want to go inside the castle, but today there was some sort of like comedy fest on and on the website it said something about giant inflatable chaos for children and I was like... That sounds like hell, so we'll come back to the castle when there's actually not inflatable hell going on. <laughs> but yes, it's been an amazing day and I'm not going to do much else other than eat, because like I said, I'm starving. Feed Oscar because he will soon start screaming at me if I don't do that. And sit and read. Oh, I did finish reading 
all these beautiful strangers on the train. It was so satisfying. I literally finished reading it a minute before I got off the train. Doing it right. <laughs> but yes, I'm going to go and end the vlog here because, like I said, I'm not going to do much else other than sit on my bed and eat. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it would be a little bit more interesting to see a sort of bookshop tour slash trip out rather than just me sat in my room talking about books. I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye!